Welcome to Math Monday. It's Monday, Monday. I'm singing and I'm tone deaf, but I don't care. <laughs> All right, I know, I'm tone deaf. Listen, if you're new and you don't know what we're talking about, hit the subscribe button and the little bell. That way you'll never miss a future video. And if you're returning, make sure you hit that share button because that really, really helps this channel out. So the last for Math Mondays, we've been talking about multiplication, but it's time to up our game to division. I know, I know. Some of you are like, and we're done. No, wait, come back, come back. Division is not scary. It's not scary. I'm going to teach you how to see division. And once you can see division, it's not hard. Are you ready? Are you ready? I mean, come on. I know you're excited about this. So let's divide. First off, we're going to start a little bit easier. 65 divided by 5. So the first thing that we have to identify is the size of our group. That's called a divisor. So if I'm looking at this, I have to ask myself, is it the 5 or is it the 65? If you said the five, you're right. We're trying to figure out how many of those fives can fit into 65. So the first thing that we're going to do is look at the 65 as two different parts. Go ahead and look at the six first. So I'm essentially telling myself that I currently have six sticks. I call them sticks. You can call them whatever you like. So off to the side, let's draw six. Now before we do that, I want you to remember the size of the group is five. So every time I have five, I need to make a circle so that I know I have a group of five, all right? So let's draw our sticks. One, two, three, four, five. Stop, draw a group, and six. So now that I'm looking at this, I can see I have one group of five and one left over. We're gonna take the group of five that one group, and we're going to write it above the six. Okay, now you're dividing. I know, I know, but you're doing it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take that group away because that's what division is. We're trying to subtract out the pieces so that we can find our final answer. So let's take away that group of five. So we take it away, and we're going to subtract that. So six minus five is one. In my picture, I have one stick left. And in my math problem, I have one left, so it's a match. Now we have to look at the second part, which is five. So we're going to have to bring the five down, and it, it sits right next to that one. So the answer that we're looking at is going to be 15. So now that we've brought that five down, we have 15 sticks. And so we're going to have to draw out our 15 sticks. It's a little bit more this time. Now remember, every time we get to five, we're going to stop and circle. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Stop, make a group. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop, make a group. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Stop, make a group. No more sticks to be written. We've drawn all 15 sticks, and I can clearly see that I have one, two, three groups. So above the five, we're going to write a three, because we're saying that we can make three groups of five with our 15 sticks. Are you starting to see this? If not, that's okay. We'll continue to work. Now, I need to take those 15 sticks away, so those three groups away. So here we go, five. 10, 15. Go ahead and subtract 15. 15 minus 15 is 0. There's nothing left. There's no other numbers. There's no other parts. So we have our answer, and it is 13. But are you ready for another one? So up next, we're going to try 81 divided by 3. The first thing we have to figure out is the size of the group. So the size of the group is if you said three, you're right. So what we're going to do is we're going to remember that every time we have three sticks showing, it makes a group. And now we're going to look at our dividend, which is 81. And we have to break it up into two parts. It's a double digit, so we do it in two parts. Got it? So the first part is the eight. 
So now what we're going to do is we're going to draw eight sticks to the side. You're going to do that with me right now. So let's go ahead and draw it. Remember, every three sticks is a group. So we're going to go ahead and draw. Here we go. One, two, three. Make a group. Four, five, six. Make a group. Seven, eight. Oh, I don't have enough to make another group, but that's okay. So right now I can see that I have two groups with two left over. So above the eight, we're going to write that two groups. Now what we have to do is we have to take those two groups away. We're saying that we have two groups. We're using those two groups. So we have to take the amount the two groups is worth away. So if I look at that, it's three, six. So I'm going to subtract six. So eight minus six is two. So that matches my picture. I said that I would have two left over, and when I subtracted it, I had two left over. The next thing that we need to do is bring down the one. That's right, if you said the one, you were correct. So we're gonna go ahead and drop down the one. So we put it now, we see that we have 21 sticks. It's a lot of sticks to draw. But we're gonna do it together, so here we go. One, two, three, stop, make a group. Four, five, six, stop, make a group. Seven, eight, nine, stop, make a group. 10, 11, 12, make a group. 13, 14, 15, make a group. 16, 17, 18, make a group. 19, 20, 21, make a group, stop. We've drawn all 21 of our sticks, and if we look at this, we see that we have a perfect amount of groups. There's nothing left over. So let's count up our groups. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups. So at the top, we need to put that we are using seven groups of three. All right, so we put that on top. The last thing we have to do is show that we have already used that seven groups. So here we go. Three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21. Let's go ahead and take that 21 away. 21 minus 21 is zero. You just divided. Amazing, right? Let's try another one, and then we'll talk about something a little bit more challenging. So this time, we're gonna try something a little bit trickier. We're gonna try 74 divided by six. Now, you might be thinking, Maybe that's not so tricky, but maybe it is. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at 74 divided by six. The first thing we're gonna do is identify the divisor, the size of the group. And the size of the group is six. So we wanna figure out how many groups of six will fit into 74. So the first thing we do, we're going to do is identify that there are two parts in the number 74 double digit number, there's going to be two parts. So we have the number 74. We're going to start with the seven. So let's draw our seven sticks. But before we do that, I want you to remember that every time we hit six sticks, we make a group. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop, make a group, and seven. So I can see that I have one group of six with one left over. So above the seven, I want you to put that one group. We're going to get rid of that group because we're saying we've used up one group. We're going to go ahead and get rid of that and we're going to subtract that group of six. So seven minus six is one. Next, we have to bring the four down. When we bring the four down, we see that the new number is 14. So we have 14 sticks left or 14 pieces, however you want to look at it. Now, we're going to go ahead and draw those out. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop, make a group. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, stop, make a group. 13, 14. I can see that I have two groups of six with two left over. So we're going to put the two up top. We're saying that we're going to use those two groups of six. We're going to use those 12 pieces. So let's go ahead and get rid of those. Six, 12. Good. So 14 minus 12 is two, and that matches our picture. This time we have something that's called a remainder. A remainder. All that word means is that there were just pieces that wouldn't fit into the group. So our final answer is 12 
remainder two. You did it. So single digit division really isn't so bad, but I always like to end you with a challenge. So we're gonna do a bigger number. Are you ready for a three digit dividend? Are you ready to do three digits? I think you are. So if you're feeling super confident, you can try this one on your own. If you are feeling like you're not ready to do it on your own yet, that's okay. That's totally fine. We'll do it together. All right, if you're doing it on your own, pause this video. If you're doing it with me, let's go. We're gonna look at the number 476 and we're gonna divide that by four. So in this one, we have three parts that we have to do, not two. And the size of our group is four, that's right. So every time we have four sticks, we make a group. So in the first part, we're gonna take the four. So we're gonna drop four sticks out. One, two, three, four. Stop, make a group. I have nothing left over, so I can see that I have just one group. We're gonna write that on top. Yes, so now we have to show that we've used that one group, and the way that we do this is by taking away that four. So let's take it away. So I go over to that group, take away that four, and four minus four is zero. Next, we're gonna take the seven. We're gonna bring the seven down. So we have showing seven pieces. So now we're gonna draw those out. One, two, three, four. Stop, make a group. Five, six, seven. Okay, if I look at this, I can see that I have exactly one group with three left over. That's right. So on top, I want you to put one. We're showing that we've used one group of four. So we're gonna take that away. So take away that four. So seven minus four is three. And that is exactly as my picture shows. It says that I should have three pieces left and my subtraction problem shows that I have three pieces left. The next thing that we're gonna do is bring down that six. So total, we're gonna have 36 sticks. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of counting and drawing, but I know you can do it. Remember, every four sticks is a group. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Stop, make a group. Five, six, seven, eight. Stop, make a group. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Stop, make a group. 13, 14, 15, 16, stop, make a group. 17, 18, 19, 20, stop, make a group. 21, 22, 23, 24, stop, make a group. 25, 26, 27, 28, stop, make a group. 29, 30, 31, 32, stop, make a group. 33, 34, 35, 36, stop, make a group, and we're done. We've drawn out all of our sticks. So we have 36 sticks in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine groups. Okay, so we see that we have nine groups. We're gonna write the nine on top, and now we need to take away those nine groups of four to show that we've used them. So let's go ahead and take them away. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. All right, so let's go ahead and subtract. 36 minus 36 is zero. So our final answer is 119. Yes, you did it, you divided. And it's really not that hard when you take it in parts. So I hope that this has helped you to start seeing division. And if it has, I'm so happy to hear that. And if you're still a little unsure, you can come back and watch these videos anytime you like. <laughs> They're free. <laughs> and um, you can just watch and practice as much as you want. The number today is going to be 634 divided by 2. Today we're going to look how many groups can fit from 2 into 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Three groups can fit into 6. So that means you're going to write on a top 3 and do 2. 4, 6, minus 6, equals 0. We're going to bring the 3 down 
That means three. One, two, three. So that means we're just having one group of two into three. Then you are gonna write minus two equals one. Then we're gonna bring the four down. That means we have 40 now. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. There are seven groups, so that means one, two, three, four. That means we have minus fourteen equals zero. So that means that our answer is three seventeen. I'd like you to do now is to come up with some problems of your own and try and see if you can do it. So leave me a comment down below if this helped you, if you now can see division, and if you liked what you saw, don't forget to share because sharing helps to get the word out about this channel. And from the bottom of my heart to yours, you know that I'm so happy that you're here as always. And um, let's check out my latest video. Bye. What I need to do now, see this is why I don't vlog. You're like, Kate, bring back the snappy vlogs. They're coming. Okay. So, huh, totally out of breath because I'm out of shape. <laughs> um, numbers and fractions that come together. How cute. Do a little bit more research because they're going to be writing an informational article on weather, like some sort of severe type of weather. I just don't have time anymore to do that. I don't even cook for myself right now. I mean, clearly, look at these cheeks. I eat out a lot. This is the face of a tired teacher.